All right, problem 3-49. Jillian's parents bought a house for $450,000, and the value of the house has been increasing steadily at 3% each year. Part A, find the formula T of N that represents the value of the house each year. So we're talking about the value of the house each year. So as we're trying to come up with that formula, we know that that formula, or T of N, should tell us the value of the house. Okay, well, it's talking about the value of the house, and N is going to represent the number of years. So, obviously if it's increasing steadily by a percentage here, this is going to be exponential growth. So you need to be thinking about what kind of equation or formula do we need there. Since this is exponential growth, we know that if we're talking about a sequence in that respect there, we're going to be looking at a sequence that's going to be geometric. So it would be T of N is going to equal A times B to the power of N. So let's look at it here now. Remember, A is going to be our initial value. And in this case here, it's going to be referring to how much did they buy the house for? How much was it worth when we started there? So the initial value in this case here, we're looking at $450,000. It says that the value has been increasing steadily by 3% each year. So B typically is our multiplier. And when you think about your multiplier, I always try to think about what number do I multiply something by if I want it to stay the same. In that case, if B was 1, that would be like 100% if it was staying the same. If we want it to increase, we know that that value has to be greater than 100%. Well, if it's going to increase every year by 3%, if we start at 100% and we increase it by 3%, remember that's written as 0 0.03 as a decimal. We can take that, we can add those here, and we're going to have 100% plus 3% is 103%, which is the same thing as 1.03 or 1 and 3 hundredths that is going to end up being our multiplier in this instance. So now that we know our initial value and our multiplier, we can take these and plug them into our formula here. So we're going to say T of N is going to equal 450,000 times 1.03 for each year, how many times we're going to multiply it by 1.03 by 1 is just going to depend on the number of years we're talking about. So this would be our formula that we're looking for for part A. T of N equals 450,000 times 1.03 to the power of N. Not times N, but to the power of N. That's how we show that we're multiplying by 1.03 repeatedly. So part B here. It says, if Jillian's parents sell their house 10 years after they bought it, how much profit will they make? It says, that is, how much more are they selling it for than they bought it for? Express your answer as both a dollar amount and as a percent of the original purchase price. So, first thing we're going to have to figure out here is how much did they sell it for? Let's use our equation from part one to figure that out. If it was 10 years after they bought it, we could say the value of our house 10 years after it was purchased would be T of N equals 450,000 times 
1.03 raised to the 10th power. So let's go ahead here and grab out our calculator here. And we will calculate the value that we are going to come up with. So we're going to have 450,000 times 1.03 raised to the power of 10. And the value we get there is going to be $604,762. And we'll round it to the nearest cent and 37 cents. So we'll have there six hundred four thousand seven hundred sixty two and just because I forgot there and thirty seven cents so this is the value that they sold it at so if we're trying to figure out the profit that they made here let's take the current value or what they sold it for this is 10 years into the future from when they purchased it we have 600 604 and 37 cents and we wanted to subtract their original purchase price So we're going to take away $450,000 there. Let's go ahead and calculate there. That's going to be, what, $0.37? Cents. Got 2, 6, 7, 4, 60 minus 45 is going to be 15. So it's looking like... The amount of money they made on this deal would have been $154,762.37. Not too bad. Okay, so this is the amount of profit that they made. So the next part of it is asking us to also express our answer not only as the dollar amount, but also as the percent of the original purchase price. So to figure out our percent of our original purchase price here, let's go ahead and let's make some room here. If we take it and we divide 154,762, dollars and 37 cents if we take that part and we divide it by the original price here we can determine what percent of that uh, our profit ends up being so let's take 154,762 dollars and 37 cents divided by 450 thousand dollars and the percentage we should get, and you can type this in on a calculator, but you should get 0 0.3439, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so what percentage is this going to be? Well, remember, this is going to give us the decimal form. We need to take this and convert this to you know, our percentage here which if you need to, go ahead and multiply it by 100. And that would give us approximately 34.39%. So our profit, $154,762.37. is the same thing as approximately gaining 34.39% on their investment there. If you have further questions, please make sure you take the time to ask your teacher. Hopefully this helped you out there. Thanks for listening.